These big increases in extreme weather that we've been observing all around, especially the Northern Hemisphere, these are all just going to continue to get worse. Arctic literally is a bellwether or a barometer for the rest of the world in terms of seeing these changes of cl in climate. So when it comes to summer heat waves, like the one that has been going on out in the western part of North America, what happens is when we get one of these very severe heat waves, um, in this case, the other factor is that it's been very dry. In fact, the western part of North America has been in a multi-year overall drought. And so what happens is the soil then dries out and dry soil can heat up much faster than soil with moisture in it. During that very severe heat wave, there was also one of these big northward swings in the jet stream basically parked over that region. This is a ridge, a ridge of high pressure. And when it gets really hot in the summer, it's also called a heat dome. There's an area of much warmer than normal ocean temperatures that's been sitting off the West Coast for um, several years now. And when we get one of these warm blobs of water out there, it tends to form one of these ridges in the jet stream, one of these northward swings that would take the storms away from that area and send them, say, up into British Columbia or up into Alaska instead. So that's left the area high and dry, contributing to that drought and those very warm soils. So as that soil warms too, it adds to the strength of this ridge in the jet stream and makes it stronger, it makes it more persistent, and so it tends to feed on itself. Again, another one of these vicious cycles that happens in the climate system. Now the Arctic, uh, we think, is also playing a role here because the amount of sea ice in the Arctic has been declining rapidly. About three quarters of the sea ice has disappeared just in the last 40 years. When we lose that sea ice, we end up warming the ocean up there as well because of that ice being gone and all that sun's energy going instead into the ocean and warming it up. When you get warming happening in the region of one of these ridges, it tends to make it stronger. It tends to make it more persistent. A very similar story is happening near Scandinavia, where they've also been having some very severe heat waves this summer and also last summer, wildfires, northern Siberia, same story. And that area is also uh, experiencing a great deal of sea ice loss. We cannot continue to dump these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere the way we have been because we're going down a path that is going to make extreme weather worse, it's going to make sea level rise worse, and we need to slow all this down. And the only way to do that is to stop emitting these greenhouse gases. So what each of us needs to do is to elect leaders that get how serious this problem is and are willing to take actions that will make a big difference.